what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be going over halloween returns the plot for halloween returns uh, a, a summary of it if you will not the full script because i don't have time for that but i will leave a link in the description to the article that i'm going over that has the full plot breakdown more or less and it actually includes a link to the script if you want to read the script for halloween returns and find out in depthly what marcus dunstan and patrick melton had in store for us before dimension had lost their rights to the franchise and we ultimately got the 2018 film that we did from david gordon green now halloween returns opens up on the same night after the events of the 78 film so just moments after loomis shot myers off of the upper balcony at the doyle house it's a sequence that would take place prior to the credits of halloween ends the opening credits or halloween returns i should say and this whole opening sequence is from michael's perspective as he rises from the ground outside of the doyle's house from those gunshots and then follows a wounded a wounded would have been victim named karen from the streets and to the home of deputy gary hunt who gary hunt i think is a character that still ends up appearing in halloween 2. gary's wife beth ends up opening the door to karen and lets her in and michael follows killing beth in front of her eight-year-old son noah and infant liam just before dr paul rogers and haddonfield police swarm the place and apprehend him the story then shifts to 10 years later and after years of court appeals michael is finally set to receive the death penalty by lethal injection gary hunt moved his family to russellville where he has been named the town sheriff dr rogers also a resident of russellville has been obsessed has been so obsessed with michael and trying to figure out the why that it has strained his relationship with his wife emma and most importantly with his daughter sophia sophia just happens to be friends with noah hunt who witnessed his mother's murder at the young age of eight as i as you all know as i just recited and he begs her to steal her father's key card so they can sneak into the warren county correctional center and witness michael's execution at first she's reluctant to do so but after once again being disappointed by her father she agrees sophia goes to her father's office to confront him and to sneakily take his key card from his desk while rogers is distracted by preparations for michael's execution sophia wanders from his office to a corridor that leads to michael's cell michael watches as sophia approaches but she's caught by her father before she could reach the cell door her startled reaction unwittingly reveals that she's roger's daughter to michael who is also of course still watching at this point later that night a crowd gathers to watch the execution and the two teenagers sneak into the back of the viewing room undetected by their fathers also in attendance is karen the wounded victim from the opening they watch as michael is injected and just as he begins to lose consciousness the injections don't take he starts fighting and squirming off the table and takes notice of sophia who was also present in the viewing room and suddenly his adrenaline spikes causing him to fight harder against his restraints and the onlookers become terrified this is intensified intensified as a brewing storm outside knocks out the power and the backup generators struggle to operate michael ends up breaking free from his restraints kills the medical technicians a few guards and and he kills karen just before releasing all of the inmates in the facility and intentionally causing a chemical explosion in the boiler room rogers and hunt make an attempt to recapture michael but their efforts are halted by the explosion then we jump to the next day which is october 31st so now we're on halloween the media is reporting that the halloween killer michael myers has been killed in the explosion which comes as a relief for both sophia and noah but not so much for paul rogers and gary hunt so in the town of russellville michael ends up breaking into the town's local halloween store silver shamrock novelties obviously a reference to halloween 3 where he takes a new version of the mask and kills proprietor harry Grim grimbridge and there's a few nods obviously again to halloween 3 in this in this sequence here uh michael takes Gim gimbridge's business van and begins to stalk and follow sophia and noah who along with their other friends are planning for a party at the old bowels farmhouse so meanwhile on the road rogers and hunt seek to find michael while settling their differences roger feels personally responsible and regret for what happened 10 years earlier so much so that it consumed his life nearly costing him his family hunt still grief stricken by the loss of his wife on that night blames rogers 
After an exchange of perspectives, the two come to a mutual understanding as they share a common goal, to kill Michael Myers once and for all. They find an abandoned highway patrol cruiser off-road, and as they investigate, they discover that there was an inquiry in the address database, Paul Rogers' home address to be exact. The two desperately race for Rogers' home, but they're too late. The shape has killed Rogers' wife and is in pursuit of Sophia. Michael follows the group of teens to the farmhouse and begins to pick them off one by one. Rogers and Hunt manage to get to the farmhouse to rescue their children. Hunt and Michael get into a fight on the first floor of the house while Rogers goes to the second floor uh, to get Sophia and a wounded Noah. Due to the fight below, a candle is knocked over and the house goes up in flames. Despite his best efforts, Hunt is eventually killed. Witnessing the death of his father, Noah ends up charging at Michael, sending them both through a door and down to the basement. Noah suffers a broken leg because of this fall. As Michael goes to strike at Noah, Sophia arrives and shoots Michael. Rogers also shows up, distracting Michael, giving the two teenagers enough time to escape through the basement window. As the cavalry begins to arrive outside, Michael wounds Rogers and splits his tongue. He then jams a shard of glass in Rogers' hand and sends him out in the Michael Myers mask or in the mask that he stole from the Shamrock store. Believing it to be Michael himself, the, po the police open fire, shooting Rogers. Sophia notices that this person isn't wearing the coveralls and informs the police that Michael is still in the burning farmhouse. When police enter, Michael is nowhere to be seen and a message has been written with blood on the wall. This town will never be safe again. And then outside, the wounded but still conscious Rogers reveals to his daughter that he had been wrong. Michael didn't just want his family dead. He wants to kill everyone. Now, in the tree line at the edge of the property, the final shot we see is Michael disappearing into the darkness. Now, see, if you are someone who wants to take the time to read this script, you will notice that this is very character driven. Very character driven, very much so has a lot of stalking scenes that are callbacks to that original film. Seems like this this script could have given us a lot of opportunities to have some very cool tracking shots that we know we got in that original movie. And if done well, could have ended up being better than the 2018 film that we actually got. That's no disrespect to that film because I still like it. I still enjoy it. But some aspects of Halloween Returns does make me wish that at some point we still get this down the road now there was actually a cool post credit scene in the post credit sequence rogers is shown in a hospital healing from his wounds he talks to someone whose identity isn't isn't revealed at first discussing how he at first tried to understand michael but then tried to kill him the mysterious figure is revealed to be none other than dr sam loomis himself who then reminds rogers that he's talking about myers as if he were a man and that he is simply and purely evil you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you miss a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.